Hey everyone, it's Natalie, and I wasn't planning on filming today, but I got a little package from Lisa Eldridge in the mail with some new stuff, <laughs> and I'm just really excited and thought it'd be cool to share, especially these foundation shades. I got two lip liners, one in a new shade that just came out blush lightly she's such an attention to detail on the packaging i really love her lip liners they're about neck and neck for like the pat mcgrath formula i have the shade blush i have the lipstick and blush i have the gloss and blush um i got the whole set and blush last like launch last holiday season but she came out with this blush lightly shade because blush is really dark and a lot of people were like is there a way that you can make a less intense version so you can see just there this one's blush this one's blush lightly i guess it's just supposed to be less intensity but the same sort of color so i can swatch the original velvet blush lipstick as well even though i didn't get any new lipsticks and then i got this lip liner that i really wanted velvet muse i have the muse lipstick which is just such a favorite of mine but i'm like this color <laughs> As a lip liner would be like my perfect lip liner color because sometimes I just like to wear lip liner and some gloss. So we can swatch that with the Muse lipstick as well. This one's Muse. I not got anything but lip balm on my lips, so we'll definitely do lip swatches. And then she also is coming out with a foundation and she wanted to be able to have people to like shade match. So you could pick a card based on just like light medium, medium, deep, deep. I don't know if there were several cards to pick from, but I picked the light set, which has shades one through four. I've been calling for Lisa Eldridge foundation for a while. I don't necessarily wear foundation, except if it's like photography or something, I'll put on concealer and whatnot. But um, I'm just interested because I always said that Lisa Eldridge would come out with great shades. They don't look great for me <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see um i'm notoriously extremely fair skinned so foundation actually the reason i stopped wearing foundation altogether was because i just never could get a match i had to mix white pigment in with everything and i was just kind of tired of doing it um so yeah the lightest shade in here looks pretty light so we'll see <laughs> one thing I'm noticing about the new lip liners versus the old ones is that the old ones had this shiny cap and the new ones have a brushed cap that kind of matches the um, pencil itself a bit better. Also, the pencil itself was also a little bit shinier, a little bit different of a color. The base of the new one is like matte to the touch, the base of the old one was shiny to the touch, so they are different packaging. I'll just swatch blush first. This is the original blush. It's a really pretty rose toned lip liner. And then to the side, I'll do the blush lipstick or yeah, this one's blush. They're pretty good matches. She says that the lip liners are darker than the lipsticks. With blush, I didn't find that to be the case. I found they were about spot on. Um, but you can see it is a very intense color. It's highly pigmented and it's pretty deep, especially if you're lighter complected. Now this is blush lightly. These are made in Germany. They come pretty sharpened and they're like a normal like sharpening pencil, like you sharpen it yourself with a pencil sharpener, but blush and blush lightly. Blush lightly looks almost slightly warmer toned. These lip liners are super long lasting. They've already like, they set down like right away. But you can see blush lightly is just a hair lighter. It's barely lighter and tonally looks slightly more 
peach undertone like just it has like a dab of extra peach to it but geez they are really similar aren't they and then this is muse that's very visibly different this one is kind of like a rosewood tone and then i'll swatch velvet muse lipstick Her lip liners literally don't go anywhere. It's kind of crazy. Like. <laughs> Once they're like on there, they're like on there. You gotta like really rub to get them to smudge at all. But her lipsticks stay, you know, creamy in consistency. I also do blush lightly on half, muse on half. It's okay if I look a little crazy, right? I'm not going anywhere. Um, blush lightly. I'm overlining my lips just on the edge in which my lips, like, there's no pigment there, but it's still a part of my lip that comes off of the face. This is just my technique for lip liner. Already, I noticed that this color compared to when I use blush, which I use quite often, is and not as cool toned for sure, especially on. It's just not like nearly as cool toned and it looks much more similar tonally to my natural lip color, just in terms of depth. This color compared to blush, original blush is definitely way lighter. The swatch doesn't really convey that super well. You can do a little lip contour with the deeper blush shade just so you can see how dark this shade actually goes on. You know, I just see that that is way more rose toned and deeper. And then we can use on this side. This shade Muse I love because it's almost dead on to my natural lip color. It is really wonderful. Uh-oh. I did notice this when I had received my package from Lisa Eldridge about a year ago, was that the tip of the pencils, the way they come, because they come pre-sharpened, is just a little bit drier, and it just proved that by cracking off. I was trying to try and like mush it back on. <laughs> that didn't work. One thing about the texture of her lip liners is they almost have like a stickiness once they're on. I guess because this side is so well contoured, I want to match it up. One thing about Lisa Eldridge that she just has a really strong understanding of undertones, and that really comes across in her products. I'm gonna start with one because naturally, I don't expect it anything else to even get close. This is such a funny story. Uh, I was in Sephora and I was swatching some concealers. You have to get someone um, that like works there to help you swatch. You have to get the two cents from the person that's swatching them, right? Which is sometimes valuable and is sometimes not. And so we began by swatching the lightest one and I noted that the undertone was incorrect. Um, it was Pat McGrath concealers and it was pretty light, which I appreciated, but the undertone was very peachy, which like shows up near orange on me. Um, and then the Sephora worker began to swatch the next color down on me. And I'm like, you can't be serious. It's not going to be light enough. And alas, it was like several shades too deep already. I mean, I just don't understand. This is like an ample amount of product in here. You could definitely like do your whole face with this, but oh, that looks kind of nice. Um, face swatch. That's definitely a nice paleness. I guess I'll just apply some kind of like here. On the lower half of my base because I do have blush and stuff on, but I don't have any makeup down here, so yeah, it blended in really well. It's kind of a small space, it just looks very seamless. 
So that's what she says. She calls it seamless skin system. It's all the face things, but I don't know. It seems to work out. This is the shade two, which is already kind of a jump. Texture of this foundation is really liquidy and I like it. It's very thin and lightweight feeling and almost slightly like serum consistency. One thing about swatching foundation on my skin is that my body skin is very neutral. So you're really gonna see the undertones come through, especially like as you go deeper, um, which already you can see how warm shade three is. So here we are. These are shades one through four. One is really light. One is very neutral. It is so neutral. I really enjoy how neutral it is actually, but it's not gray neutral. It's just very beige, very tonally beige. Number two is a little pink. You can see that number two, while wet, just like totally morphs in to the shadow of my hand really nicely, but is just a bit dark. Number three is warm. Number three is warm. Orange, yellow, kind of warm. And then number four, once again, neutral, neutral peach a little bit. I love the look of wet foundation, <laughs> but those are shades one through four. I hope that helped. Fun little impromptu Lisa Eldridge swatching session. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and like the video. See you guys next time.